Hi, welcome to God Mad. My name is Casey. If you're new here, go ahead and subscribe. Today, I'm gonna to be teaching you how to make a rope rosary. This is a rosary I just made completely out of rope, string, twine, whatever word you want to use for it. I'm gonna be teaching you how to make an individual knot all the way down to make the rope cross. To start off, you are going to need a lighter, some string, and some scissors. Now, the string is a size 36. I usually buy a whole big roll of them. After you have your, your size 36 roll, you need to make sure you have the right amount of strings so that you don't run out while you're making your rosary. So what I usually use is about four arm strands. So take the end of the roll, grab it all the way across your arm four times. So that's one, two, three, and then four. Now, if you were just beginning, and then you can just go ahead and cut the end of the rope. Now, if you were just beginning to make this, I would maybe make it a little bit longer because this is like the right amount if you want to make the knot super, super tight and close together. Now, this takes a lot of practice to be able to get it at the right distance and everything. So, if you are just starting out and it's your first one, I, I would recommend a little, maybe like four and a half or even five arm strands because you don't want to run out of string while you're making the rosary. And then you take the string, and what I start off by doing is t finding the end and tying a little knot at the end. That way, whenever you are making the knots, this little, these little things don't come undone. So you tie a knot on both ends. So to start off, you wanna make sure you have about 10 inches from the start, making sure you have a little knot at the end so that it doesn't come undone. So about 10 inches from the start, you're going to grab the string with your pointer finger and your thumb. If you're left-handed, you can go ahead and put this in your right hand because this is the majority of your work is going to be with your dominant hand on this side. So go about 10 inches from the bottom Grab it with your pointer finger and thumb. So this is where you're gonna make your first Hail Mary knot. So on a regular, so on a finished rosary, you're gonna make it, you're gonna be starting out making this first knot right here. So get your 10 inches from the start. And then grab it with your pointer finger and thumb. And now you're going to kind of hold it and stretch it across your finger like this because this string right here is gonna kind of act like a bar that you're going to wrap around. So hold it with your thumb and your, point and your pointer finger a little bit from it, and then you're going to kind of put it right over your fingernail, and then you're gonna take it with your other hand and you're gonna wrap it around the string that we're gonna call our bar. We're gonna call this our bar. Wrap it around your bar three times. Okay, now once you have it wrapped around your bar three times, you're going to make sure the strings stay in this order and you're gonna slowly take it off of your finger. So now you have your bar through the middle here and then your three circles around that bar. Now I kind of stretch it out a little bit because now you're gonna take the string and you're going to put it so it's the string that's on the farthest, make sure it's on the farthest uh, away from this hand, and you're gonna put it up through this, these circles. So it's gonna go from the bottom up towards you. And you're just gonna take it, and then you're gonna pull all of this string all the way through. Sometimes it can get kinda knotted up like that. You can just, it's okay, you can just keep pulling it out. So you're gonna, it, it's kind of annoying at first because you have all the string to pull through, but it'll get shorter as you continue making it. So now we have our bar, our three circles, and the string that we just pulled through. So now, this is kind of the harder part. So now you're gonna try to find that bar string that you just put around. So it's this string right here. Follow it along inside the three circles and find it on the other side. So I found it right here. So this is the bar string. Now you're gonna make sure you hold that tight. And then you're gonna find the circle that was closest to this side, which is the string that you pulled through over here. So now you're gonna hold that circle and the bar string. 
And then I kind of take my fingers underneath and I just kind of take that string and I pull it tight. And then you're going to slowly let go and keep pulling till it gets to be a tight knot. So there you go. That is the first knot. So I'll do it a couple more times just so you can get a better picture. So now, to the another important part is this, is you want to make sure the knots are close together or else your rosary is gonna be super, super long. So in order to make the knot close together, now you wanna kind of start off with holding the knot as that string from your pointer finger and thumb and you're gonna wrap it around. And while you're wrapping it, it's important to make sure you're going from this outside towards your hand. So you're going, you're making the circles, wrapping it around in that direction. Now that you got your three, you're gonna slide it off, making sure your circles are there, taking the long string, going up and pulling it in throughout. Now you want to find that bar string, which is right here. Now I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hold this knot and the string I just pulled through. So you want to make sure you find that string that you just pulled through and find the end of it over here. So I'm going to hold that and then I'm going to just keep pulling it until it gets really tight. And now you want to pull the string and get it tight and making sure the knot is close together to the other one. Just like that okay and then you just keep doing it so once it's kind of hard to get the concept when you first begin it took me so long to figure it out uh, and it, it's gonna take some practice in order to get it down perfectly uh, but that's okay if you keep at it and you keep practicing you will get it down let's pull it all the way through get your in there find the bar find this Pull it through. Now, whenever I first started learning this, there's other YouTube videos that show you how to do this, but whenever I first started out, I got this concept down to make the three circles and pull the string through. That, one, that part is not that hard. And when you first start out, they can teach you just to take this and then just pull it and then it works out. But the hardest part is measuring that. And so I kind of came up with my way of holding the strings and stuff. So you can just pull the strings and it can work out sometimes, but the distance is really hard to measure out that way, which is why I don't prefer that method. Also, there are times where you might make a mistake. So in case you make a mistake, this is what it might look like if let's say if the sh if the three circles get out of order so if this like gets tangled here and then you pull it's still going to make a knot it's just not as pretty so if you look it's not there's like that string that goes across it versus these ones the three stay all the way around whereas this one you'll see that the knot or one of the strings comes across over like that rather than staying in their, in their line. So that is what a knot um, that's not so pretty looks like. And if that happens, you can just redo it and just take it out and just pull it back through. It's not too hard to undo it. But doing it by the method that I taught you of finding the bar string and then finding the last circle, that is the easiest way to make sure that the mistake doesn't happen and to make sure that it is on the same, and to make sure that it is the right uh, distance away from your last knot. And then you just pull it tight. So there you go. Now we got, we got, Five Hail Marys done.
So now that you have your ten beads here, now you're going to do the Our Father bead. So right here you have your ten Hail Marys, and now you're going to do this Our Father bead. Now if you notice, there's some space in between the two Hail Mary sides, and this Our Father bead is a little bit bigger than the Hail Mary beads. So right here we did three circles, but for the Our Father bead, we're going to do five wrap arounds the bar. So go ahead and do it just like you did before. Take it, and but now this time you're going to want to wrap it around five times. And then create some space, pull it through. Now sometimes when you do five or however, if you do more than three, it can all the strings can get kind of messed up a little bit. That is okay. You can still save it. As long as you can find that bar string that you first started out with. So to do that, go ahead and look at the string and find it all the way through. So right here, it's the little tiny one. So I found my bar string right here. So now you're gonna try to find this string on the other side. So, and I found that. So if you can, if you have a messed up bead, that is okay as long as you can find that bar string and the string that you pulled through. If you can hold those two on the other two ends and you pull it through, the knot will just kind of sort itself out to make itself pretty again. And then you slowly reveal it. And then I like to leave about this much space. If you want to leave more, you can. And then just pull it tight. So there you have that. So you have your first decade and now an Our Father bead. And then you just wanna go ahead and make another Hail Mary on the other side. The most important part, most important part on this side is just to make sure you have the same space on either side of the Our Fathers. After you made your five decades, so you have them right here, just like that, you wanna make sure they're all at the same distance apart. Now, when you first make this, it's gonna be really difficult to get them to be exact. It takes a lot, a lot of practice to be able to get it to be like this. It took me so many times, hundreds of times before I could figure this out. So if you can figure this out in the perfect dense distance first try, then you are great at this. Um, but th that's the ideal thing, is to try to get each of the decades to be the exact same length with the Our Father space to be the same. So now, once you have this complete, you want to take your two at the end here and, and mash them up so that it's symmetrical with everything else. And now you're going to do the exact same knot, but you're going to use both of the strings now. This might be a little difficult and confusing, but you can do it. So you're going to use both of them as the bar string, and you're going to wrap it around twice just like that and you're going to slide it off and then you're going to take both of the strings and push it up and in pull it through and do the exact same thing that you did earlier and it can be difficult with both the strings because it's just more complicated but it's the same idea so you're just going to pull it in and then you're just going to make a knot, still making sure these knots are still the same distance apart from this big knot. And you're going to just going to pull it and pull both strings to make sure it's really tight. Just like that. So now you have your knot. So now we are going to be making, so now you have this part of the rosary done. You have your five decades and the connecting dot. So now what we're going to do is create the Our Father bead and the Three Hail Mary beads their father, and then we're gonna do a rope cross. So, ignore this little string right here for now. We'll take care of that later. Take the long string that you have remaining, and now we're gonna make an Our Father knot. So go ahead and do the Our Father knot, the five, uh, wrap around the bar. Find the bar, find this string, pull it. And you want it kind of close to the big knot just because you don't want your uh, this part to be super, super long. Unless you want it to be that way, you can. 
And then you're gonna make your three Hail Marys. So wrap around three times. And you can really do it at whatever distance that you prefer. I like to keep this part pretty small so that it's not a huge hanging part out of the rosary, but it's really up to your preference. So now after you make your three Hail Marys here, you're gonna go ahead and make another Our Father bead, just like on a rosary. So you have your Our Father and you have your three Hail Marys and now we're gonna make this Our Father bead right here. So you wrap around five times for the Our Father bead. Pull it in, find the bar, find the long string, keep it tight, pull through with the other fingers and make the Our Father bead. And now you can make sure that it's kind of the same distance apart. It is, and you can pull it tight. So you've got your five decades here. You have your Our Father and your three Hail Marys and then the Our Father. So now I'm going to teach you how to make the rope cross. Here I don't have the rope cross because sometimes I like to put metal crosses on the end of mine just because I'm an imagery person. But if I want a full rope rosary, this is how you make the, the cross. So you're gonna go ahead and start off by making another Our Father bead uh, for the top of the cross. So I'm gonna go ahead and make another Our Father bead, which is the five wrap around. Pull it through. Now the distance from the Our Father and this top of the cross is really up to you. You can make it however far apart you want. Right about there. Okay, so now you're gonna be making the end of the cross. So I like the end of my cross to be a little bit bigger than the top of my cross. So I'm gonna wrap it around seven times. And you wanna make sure that you're given enough space because you're gonna need more space with seven. So that's three, four, five, six, seven. Now this is a lot of string, so this will be difficult at first, but you'll get the hang of it. And then you're gonna twist it to kind of get off your finger to loosen it up. Make the circle a little bit bigger. Slide it through. Find the bar, find the other. Now this, you want basically touching the top of the cross bead. Now, remember when I said that the knots can get kind of messed up? Here I have it messed up, but because I have the two ends in my hand, I can try to fix it here by just kind of moving it around to where it needs to be. There we go. So now it's all fixed, it's all pretty and in its line. So now you're going to pull it and making sure that you're trying to get it as close really as you can to this top bead. And then you're slowly gonna pull it tight Perfect. So you want to leave a little tiny space. You can barely see the little space there, but that's about it. So super, super close. Now you're going to take your scissors and you're going to cut off the bottom of this cross. So make sure it's tight at the end so it doesn't come undone. And then you're going to cut off just about a little bit off the bottom and make sure you have your lighter ready. So you're gonna cut off the string and then you're gonna take your lighter and you're going to just barely touch the end of the string. You don't wanna do it too much and then I just kinda of put it against my scissors to give it a flat look just so that it melts right. So when it melts, it's kinda of melting inside and giving it a flat bottom rather than like a thick one. So I barely touch it, and then I just press it against my scissors to kind of flatten it out. So now you have the, that part of the cross. Now, you're gonna take your remaining stream. So I measured it out enough for you so you have enough to make the remaining. If you don't have enough to make the remaining of the cross, you can just cut more string off of your roll. So now, to do this part, you're going to lay your rosary down facing you like this. And you're going to take your remaining string, 
making sure there's no knots in it, so untie any knots that you have because you're probably going to be using all of the string. And you're gonna lay it down, making sure that it's the same length on either side, and you're gonna put this on top of that string. So now you're gonna take your, your two sides of the string and you're gonna make a simple knot like you tie your shoelace. So you have your two strings, just making a simple knot like you tie your shoelace, and then pulling it tight, trying to make sure that it's even on both sides, Okay, so now you want to get this knot right here in between your two, your the top of the cross and the bottom of the cross. So you're going to try to find the part of your cross. So there's this is a little smaller than this side. So this side is a little bit bigger of a gap. So you're going to try to get this knot to be right there where that gap is. So I like to kind of put it tight and then I make sure it's where that gap is can see that and then I pull it tight and once you pull it tight like really tight it kind of just fits in there and you can kind of smudge it in there to make sure it's in there really good so that there's no space in between so now once you have this you're going to use these two strings on each side to make the the cross to finish the cross off so now you're going to make a Hail Mary bead as close as possible to that side so Go ahead and grab your cross and then do the exact same bead that you do. You can either do three or four. I like to switch it up. You can do three or four, whatever you have room on your, on your string for. So do that, pull it, and now you're gonna want to make this bead as tight and as close as possible to the other two beads to make that cross to be really tight and pretty. So you're gonna pull it tight against there. So now you can see that the one side of the cross. And now you're just going to do the same thing on the other side. One, two, three, four. Pull it through. And then pull it as tight as you can to that side. So there you go. Now you have your five decades and your cross. So now you're just left with these strings, which is what you do, the same thing that you did. Go ahead and cut off the two ends of your cross, the remaining of your string. Take your lighter. Be careful with your lighter, don't bring your finger. It's really just enough to melt the end. You don't wanna do it too much because it can burn all the way through your string and then it can mess the entire thing up. So you wanna make sure you are just doing just the little top, just enough to melt it and then press it into your scissors so that it creates a nice flat bottom. So there's your cross. And then when you get to here, you wanna go ahead and do the same thing with this little string here. So just pull this tight and then you're going to cut this off and light it press against the scissors. And there you have it. You now have your five decades, your Our Father, your three hymn your Our Father, and now your cross. And your cross should be pretty tight when you just burn the sides. And then this one right here. I also like to add a miraculous metal in between these two beads here, but there you go. There is your rope rosary. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial on how to make a rope rosary, and I hope you enjoy trying it out. It's super, super fun once you get in the hang of it. Please let me know if this video was helpful in the comments or if you need any more explanation on, on a certain part. I'd be more than happy to make another video going into farther detail. And if, if you're like, you know what, I don't even want to bother trying anymore. I just want a rope rosary. I also sell them on my Etsy shop, so that's always an option too. But I hope you guys have a wonderful day and God bless.